Hello everybody. Now there's a washing machine literally right there. Um oh yeah, got a new watch. Look at that. Woo! Ooh, very nice. Uh yeah, so there's a washing machine right there, so I don't know how well you can hear me. So what I'm gonna do is just explain what I'm cooking and then uh just do a time lapse because I really don't know how well you can hear me. I'm guessing you can probably hear me alright, because it's not that loud, but it is kind of loud. So, first of all, you just need to get a chopping board. Uh, the ingredients that you need are two normal apples and two brownie apples. So, because my apples here are really small compared to my brownie apples, I'm going to actually use three of these and two of these. So, yeah. Uh, enjoy the time lapse. You need this, you need 40 grams of sugar, and some to sprinkle on the top. So, I'm really hoping for that. For that. I don't know how much that is, but hopefully, it'll be enough. Uh, also, I am on 405 steps at the moment, as you can see. Let's see how many I'm on at the end once I've finished doing all the chopping. So, to be fair to it, I just want to go and change it, but anyway, um, so that's all we need. Uh, make sure you wash your hands, wash your hands, get on a clean surface. And then get cooking. So, get your apples, uh, get your sugar. So you're going to need, you're going to need a little bit of water to put in the pan. You need to um, have the apples very squishy, okay? They need to be really nice and squishy. You don't want that much water. Um, like a little tiny bit, like literally just that amount. Not very much. You can always put a bit more on. Uh, so yeah, they want to be squishy but also still hold their shape. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit of ground cinnamon in mine. I'm going to put a little bit of ground cinnamon. Because I did that yes, the last time I made them. Not yesterday. The last time I made them because uh, together it made a really nice, really, really like delicious flavour. So that's what I'm going to do this time. Uh, just checking for stickers, and then yeah, obviously you need to peel them as well. So that's just going to be like the most difficult thing ever. Yeah, so I actually chop them and then peel them. Just like this. So, yeah, let's cut them. How long that had been smoking onto the tripod? I can't even think my phone was on fire. Which is always a lovely thing to come into. So, let's have a very quick look, see if that needs to be cooled for any more time. No, uh, it needs to be cooked for any longer. 
that's kind of hot and I really don't want to burn myself. Things I still have the burn from before. Yeah, so that is really nice. Yeah, you, you also need obviously a roll of puff pastry or if you're going to cook some yourself, some of puff pastry. Just going to grab that. So, just going to put that back on the heat for a minute. Just so that some of that water that I've just put in can dissolve away because I just put a little bit more water in. So, yeah, I'll see you once it's all cooled and ready to put in the pastry. Okay, so it has been like four hours or something, but that's fine. This is cold now, which is good. And we've got our roll of puff pastry. And what we need to do is roll it out so that rather than it being however big it is, which is what it's big, we need to basically drop it down here and roll it out to make it bigger so that we can fit four that are about that big each. So I'll do that on time now. We are just you and I, singing from the top of a lungs, dancing by the lakeside, trying to do it while we're young. In a moment, it will all be gone. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. So now that we've done all of these here, I've uh, just been ripping some of the paper off so it doesn't get burnt. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need to coat them in egg, put slits in. I did a cute little pattern on them, but I don't have to. Well, it's cute, I mean, it's a cross. Yeah, then you need to get your sugar and forget. And sprinkle sugar onto them. makes them very tasty. I mean also the apple makes them tasty. It's probably my favourite. Yeah that's why you get the nice golden brown texture. texture. Colour. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're just gonna put them in the oven. Okay, so there they are. Um I'm gonna grab a bowl. And an apple, I think. Just peel off the paper. Don't really fit in the bowls. So I may have to. Yeah, there you go. That's better. There we go. Oh, that apple is hot. But they are incredibly tasty. Wow. Oh!